Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. The immensity of, of this cave of Rabbil Awwal and the entry into this reality that when we recite Ta Seen that Allah dress the souls of these servants with the secret of this Ta and its reality of Al Tahir, the most purified reality from the oceans of creation. Means an immense purity that whatever diamond has a flaw, every soul has a flaw except the one that is so purified that Allah describes it as a haqq and a truth. The immensity of its purity makes it to be Allah's symbol of truth. Everybody's impurity gives them a darajat below the darajat of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad the Tahir al-Hadi, the purified guide of Allah that when Allah want to lend from His oceans of names onto the name of Sayyidina Muhammad means that I purified this reality with such an immense purity, I, I swear by Ta and its immense secrets that the Tahir al-Hadi and the immense reality of this secret and I swear by the seen and the reality of the seer and the secret that the secret of all light and the light of every secret. The secret of every light so it means that every thing manifesting and unmanifesting is made from light. Like advanced physics Allah's teaching from these ancient realities that one day you'll find out everything manifests from light. The form breaks down, everything breaks down and all that's left is light. Means that every light is this reality and its secret is from this reality. Means everything is manifesting from this secret. And Allah entry into this cave is ta-seen, swearing by the purified secret of what you're about to be witnessing and entering into this reality, tilka ayat al-Qur'an. Here only Allah describing the kitab and the Qur'an are two separate issues. Qur'an can never manifest. Qur'an are the words of Allah that are not created. So that's why Allah making reference to Ayatul Qur'an that what you're about to look at in this heart of Sayyidina Muhammad which is this fire emanating from the presence of the heart of Prophet is an immense fire. And Allah describing this fire Ayatul Qur'an. Because you can't say Qur'an because Qur'an is not created. Are you getting that? Ayat al Qur'an means Allah just saying, because there's no shariq, there's nothing like, this is just a sign of my Divinely speech. Because nothing can manifest, nothing can hold that reality. So then Allah is separating this immense reality saying that this fire that you're seeing in the heart of Prophet which all Qur'an is manifesting from this reality, tilka ayat al-Qur'an, this is the ayah, these are the signs of my Divinely speech. Then the creation part wa kitab al-mubin. And the soul of Prophet is Kitab al Mubin. That's the created. So the Kitab are the is the vehicle in which 
you put the words of Allah upon it, they're two separate. The words of Allah and that which is trying to carry it, carry the words of Allah In dunya the mushaf is a paper that's trying to carry these realities of Allah In akhirah in the world of malakut there is no paper that can hold that, there's no mountain that can hold that. But Allah describes only the soul of Prophet can hold that. Wa kitab al mubin that what the believer and these only are witnessing is this fire that you see where all Qur'an is manifesting in these lights. Why a fire? Because ishq and love is a fire and they gather around the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad because it's a fire, it's a fire of Divine Love in which these nat and the one that we were reciting a while ago but they were describing Oh you ashiqeen that you come and you gather around this flame and you're so mesmerized by this hal and this feeling and this energy and this muhabbah, why don't you start to enter the flame? Why are you scared? Why are you just always watching the group, participating at a distance? They're saying, now enter, enter this fire of Divine Love. What looks like a fire to you because it's, it burns dunya, it burns everything other than the ishq and the love of Allah which is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Everything else burns away as you move towards that everything begins to vanish, everything important begins to fade away that you thought was important. And they describe like a moth that enter into the flame where the moth doesn't even think itself burning anymore, it's so lost in a love that it just goes into that flame. It doesn't worry that what's going to happen with this, what's going to happen with my things, what's going to happen with this, all the, the worries of dunya that if I should enter and I go and I, and, I, and I go into that immense love of Sayyidina Muhammad what will happen to everything? The moth doesn't even think anymore, it's so loosed in the love it enters into that flame. Tilka ayat al-Qur'an. That's what Allah is describing with this ta'seem, these souls enter and they're mesmerized by ayatul Qur'an, ayatul min ayatullah. These are the signs of Allah's signs that when their souls are entering into that love and into that ishq, they're lost in it. That's why it's a fire that it burns everything other than it and the fire of Jahannam is an immense fire of love that will burn everything other than the love of Allah That's why if you have a love for Allah Allah described, you'll be on a couch reclining, on a couch, on an arsh, on a chair means that when you have that love already everything else has burned away. What is there to then burn and what is it that you feel? You feel the immense love of Allah And for people who don't have that love and they put all their love on their dunya and their material world, everything that they built upon of their belief of the material world, of course this fire looks frightening. It's going to burn away all their material desires and everything that they had built up of what they thought was important. And ashiqeen are teaching, no, no, come to this ash, come to this love, come to this fire and let it to catch you. 
Because if you come close enough to the fire it begins to dress you and begin to enter into your heart where your heart becomes a flame and you become somebody who's caught on fire. They're lit, when they're lit they heat up and the immensity of that fire is, is mirroring onto their heart. And that's why their heart is filled with the zikr of who, from the realities of, of who and ikhlas, qul huwa, qul huwa. They are sincere servants of Allah in which their heart are flames of Divine Love and their whole being is inside of Kitab al-Mubeen. That they understood that Prophet is Allah's kitab. What Allah wants to write is divinely words on what? What would be pure enough to write Allah's divinely words when we said they're not even something that can manifest? There's no paper pure enough, there's no ink pure enough, there's nothing pure enough where Allah says, I can't send it to a mountain because nobody can take it. The only thing that is pure is the one who's Tahir al-Hadi, ta and seen that he's the purified secret of Allah and as a result Allah says, that is the only place my holy words can dress. As a result the kitab with the words then become the reality and the power of Holy Qur'an manifesting. Then Allah is describing from that cave and from that reality it's a guide and a glad tidings for those who believe that when they enter into that cave and if they're around that flame and being dressed by that light, blessed by that light, of course they're in the oceans of guidance and blessings. And their whole life is iqamdu salawi ta'u zakah, that everything they do in their salah, their prayers, their worshipness and they give, they give from whatever Allah has given to them of their money, of their time, of their ability, of everything that Allah has given because they understood that zakah is the cleansing. That's what cleans them and keeps them to be in the presence of that flame. Dunya by its nature wants to fill the believer with itself until the believer becomes so contaminated that he begins to distance himself from that reality. And Allah then describes for us that this, this praying and giving, praying and giving, praying and giving Make it a lifelong habit of our reality that as you want to approach and you want to be dressed by these realities then from whatever Allah gave you of qulina salati wa ahmusuqi wa ahmayahiya wa ahmamati lillahi rabbil alameen. From whatever Allah has given to me of my life, of my time, of my ability, of my family, whatever I possess in my life Allah share to it. And that I live a life of service so that I'm always around that Divinely Flame. And that's the haqqaiq and the reality in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and Malakut in the world of light. Then Ayat al Kareem in Surat al Nam begins to describe Sayyidina Musa. And what Sayyidina Musa saw when he went into the desert and decided that. He has to leave the city, he has to leave Pharaoh and he has to go now towards his, his reality was a burning bush. That is the flame that only Allah are been taken to in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad because Sayyidina Musa yet didn't recognize or understand that reality of Sayyidina Muhammad He's a Prophet of Allah with a different secret. And that, that secret had to manifest from the heavens onto the earth as a bush of fire. And what Allah describes in Holy Qur'an that anyone who enters into the precincts of this fire who are in it or around it they are truly blessed. That's the dunya version. Imagine when Allah is saying, those whom are around this fire, in this fire are truly blessed. 
Then what about the Ahbab and Nabi that their souls, they emanate from the presence of that reality? The Prophet soul is the reality of that bush that Nabi Musa was witnessing and later began to seek that reality, I want to see you Ya Rabbi, I want, I want to enter in and, and the marifa of that reality. And these Ahbab and Nabi and the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad have been given all of this as a gift from the reality of Prophet and is a gift to the nation. Whomever makes a salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad and opens their heart to this love, opens this heart to the reality, this association of fire, this association of love, this association of immense realities is open for them. That's why people say, why, why the fire and why the candle and all these symbolisms? Because they don't know uh, these realities. This fire is a fire of ish. These are all in Taskiyatul Awliya. The fire is here to burn dunya. That whatever is other than Allah's love has to be taken away. And when the heart of a believer is lit, they're like a shams, like a sun. The sun is a fire, there's no more mass inside the sun. It's all gases that are burning and they burn eternally. Because of the, the love that it has, it reached a, a, a state of eternity in which it continuously is burning out of the power and the love of Allah They're no longer of a, of, a, of a form and then have a, have a time but to enter into the oceans of eternity and Bahrul Hayat. Means the entire surah now begins to describe we're in this cave. And that as you're moving into the cave, the reality of this cave is what was the power that was given to Sayyidina Dawood in which he could hear the birds? What was the power in the kingdom that was given to Sayyidina Sulaiman of the kingdom? Because of the shyness and the humbleness of Sayyidina Muhammad he didn't want to show his kingdom and the power that Allah had given to him. As a result, a shyness and saying, look that this kingdom of Sayyidina Sulaiman, what Allah has given to him. When people don't understand the greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad and then in Qur'an is saying that Sayyidina Dawood had the knowledge of talking to the birds and that they had knowledge a little of everything, talking to all the creatures of Allah understanding the speech of, of inanimate objects. All of that is a description in Surah Al-Nam of the kingdom. When anyone wants to doubt what the servants of Allah have as a gift and ability, they read Surah Al-Nam that why Allah gave the power to move the wind, gave power to understand the, the speech of creatures. All of these were a gift to Sayyidina Sulaiman through the ring and the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad you know, he was given all of that because he received a, a ring from heaven. And this ring was the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad What then Prophet gave to his entire nation? That my ring and the sunnah of my ring has all that power if you love me. If you love me and I love you, all the power of the heavens with you. What then is there to fear? What is there to grieve about? If Allah is with you, Sayyidina Muhammad is with you, we pray that Allah dress us and bless us with the immensity of Mawlid and Nabi Muhabbat and Nabi These are not anything that we reach by our amal, by our actions, by our praying but just by good character. By opening our heart to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad by giving generously, being of service, do something for khidmat in the way of gaining the attention of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah dress us, bless us and grant immense ni'mat of this month and dress us from the reality of ta'aseen. 
تلقاء آيات القرآن والكتاب المبين إن شاء الله بحرمة محمد المصطفى وبسير سورة الفاتحة Click the link now to subscribe.